today's video, we're going to start fixing that super rush base that we started last year. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe. Welcome back to the show. And today we're going to explain how to fix any rush base. It really doesn't matter what level it is. If it's rushed, it's going to apply to what we're going to be doing with this account. We got ourselves a Town Hall 15. <laughs> it's extremely rushed with level one defenses. This was done on purpose to create something very unusual. So you see, what happens is, is that players tend to start out class the same exact way. They build their town hall, they start upgrading defenses, they start upgrading troops, and then they tend to get bored because new content comes out or new levels comes out and then they want to rush ahead and play with that stuff. I've done it. I know a lot of you have probably done it as well. So what actually happens here is that you end up finding yourself in a situation where you rush ahead and you don't know how to fix it or you figured out that this goes way faster than the traditional way of doing it. And we actually proved this last year by rushing ahead with a level one rush to Town Hall 14. All that content is listed down in the description below. Now here's the deal. In order to fix this, we could go about it the free to play method, but it's going to take equally as long to fix this base as it would be to play traditionally, which kind of defeats the purpose of rushing in the first place. So we're gonna buy the gold pass for the perks, these guys right here, and we're going to be using a ridiculous amount of magic items just to see how fast this method will take. Although my fiance does not necessarily approve of this. Ooh, we got something in the shop. <laughs> oh, new scenery. <laughs> we did it again, boys. I'll see you outside. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go outside and play with our brand new gel blaster surge. Just make sure you charge it up before you go out with the provided USB cable and the ports on the bottom. Wear that eye protection and secretly, I'm a little excited about this. I just hope she's not outside this door waiting to ambush me. I don't know if I should put it on semi or auto, but I think we're gonna go for auto on this one. This is actually a lot of fun. Okay, okay, okay. Bush looks good. Bush looks good. <laughs> well, that was fun. No, <laughs> that was actually a lot of fun. Be sure to click the link down in the description below and use code Kenny10 at checkout to get 10% off your gel blasters today. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I stuck back in here and got that gold pass in between all that going on. Now, here's the deal. With the gold pass, if you buy it back to back, you should start out with 200 free points, which will unlock the first couple of boosts, 10% of the training boost, research boost, and builder boost, which is perfect if you're trying to spend off those resources from the season bank of the previous season. Now, I'm not going to say that I'm necessarily a big fan of the Goblin Queen skin because I'm really not, but... But the rest of this stuff is very important with the one gem donations and free dark elixir. And then we're going to go ahead and claim this stuff right here and move into our progress base. Now, it doesn't necessarily matter what level you're at because I get asked this all the time. Like, how do you fix a town hall 12 that's rushed or a 13 that's rushed or a 14 that's rushed? The only difference is, is that the buildings are not going to be the same, like meaning you might not have a pet house or you might not have, goodness, I can't even think of anything right off the top of my head. The point is, is that there's going to be some buildings here that you more than likely won't have, but the upgrade priorities are going to be about the same, meaning we're going to start out on offense. And the reason behind that is because you need resources to fix this thing, or you need magic items from the events, or you need to go into clan war leagues and try to get those league medals so you can buy hammers as this stuff starts to get a little bit more expensive. So we started out with heroes and we got a lot of hero levels because we started this thing last year and we've been playing casually. Like I get the dark elixir, I do a hero upgrade and I don't even like care to record it. I know, I know not that exciting, but level 68, 80, 55 and 30. So we are very close to being maxed on the heroes. Now we are upgrading our pet house and we're going to level six because I want to unlock Diggy 
because I have a Max Town All 15 and Diggy is super OP and he's awesome. So I wanna have him and I wanna start upgrading him. Just ignore the Town Hall for right now. We'll leave it level one. We'll start fixing it when we start fixing defenses. We went ahead and maxed out the laboratory so we could start upgrading our troops to the maximum level. So what I'm trying to get at here is that if you did rush, you want to take your buildings to the max level for whatever town hall that level that is. Or if you really just want to go ahead and finish it off as a rush base, go to the highest level in the game and then start maxing out your offense and then go into defenses. So clan castle next because we have all the capacity and stuff that we can get with a level one clan castle we went ahead and upgraded our spell factory to unlock the recall spell <laughs> and then we also maxed out our dark spell factory we're upgrading our army camps to the maximum level so we have the full capacity of army which is like what three 320 yeah should go to 320 and then also we did a few levels on the workshop but i'm kind of slacking on that it's like level four so i'll finish that off we maxed out our barracks to level 16 and we maxed out our dark barracks to level Level nine obviously did our gold storages and elixir storage is in dark elixir storage because when we use runes we don't want to have rune waste so we went ahead and maxed those out and then also because i'm playing kind of casual i did work on my gold mines pumps and the dark elixir drills and then obviously the defenses are all still level one to include traps now we'll tackle all these defenses at once when we start activating that massive amount of <laughs> builder potions it was like the brain just did not like comprehend what i was about to say now i know what a lot of you guys are out there thinking you're thinking to yourselves why aren't you doing defenses this doesn't make any sense because of course we're not going to, to be able to defend correct you're not going to be able to defend and the thing is is that when you rush you're missing out on a ton of experience because you're skipping ahead in the game basically but you can make up for it if you stay consistent with the game and and the best part about rushing is that there's really not a lot of limitations like you don't have a lot of loot waste because you're basically able to upgrade everything to the highest level so you never run out of like ways to spend your dark elixir because you can do hero upgrades and you never run out of ways to spend elixir because you got a ton of troop upgrades so the point behind all of that is that if you are a rush town hall 12 or a rush town hall 15 start working on those offensive upgrades upgrade buildings that way you can have a stronger army and be able to have a little bit more fun in the game if you're wasting all your time on defenses it's going to take a little while as we're going to prove in the upcoming months now we do have a ton of resources that we need to spend and we only have one builder available so we're going to probably dump our gold into walls which none of you are going to agree with if you don't understand the process but we're not going to waste time on defenses right now <laughs> you with me right all right so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and gem ahead in the gold pass and see if we can unlock a few more of those perks See if we can grab those 20% before we run out of gems, which I think we're going to probably do. Nope, nope, we're... <laughs> ah! Are you serious? Oh my gosh, we really ran out. Okay, so that's training boost. So we're not going to worry about that. All right, so 24 million gold. Let me go back to this base right here because I'm super OCD. And I'm going to go ahead and spend off the gold on the walls. And then we're going to have to figure out what buildings we're going to upgrade next. And we're probably going to do a hero upgrade. And before I upgrade this next piece of wall, I wanted to show you the price. So 3.2 million gold or elixir opposed to the free to play price of four million of each resource so this is always really nice now we got a ton of uh wall rings we're gonna save that for the highest level in the game because i don't want to spend them right now it just feels like a bit of a waste now we have all of our gold gone we have elixir and dark elixir to spend so let's go ahead and upgrade our barb king for 201 000 dark elixir <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and use a book i love magic items especially ones like that all right and that's gonna leave us with 22 million elixir and i think we're going to go ahead and upgrade our workshop to level five, which will leave over a little bit of elixir for later on. That way I don't have to farm as hard. So that will unlock our log launcher. That's awesome. That leaves us with 12 million elixir. Let me see if I could try to show you one of the perks of being rushed. Farming army. Let's get into that laboratory real fast because our laboratory is super rushed. I didn't really focus on like all the different troops. I actually focused on one strong farming army. 
i.e. goblins. They're level eight, so we're gonna be using sneaky goblins. We also upgraded our healers, so that way we could do some queen walking with our super strong archer queen. We did baby dragons and electro dragons, and then we're working on the electro titans now. So here's the thing. One army for farming, which would be sneaky goblins and invisibility spells and, and haste, and then your war army or your clan war league's army, which would be like electro dragons. <laughs> Those are the armies that we would be using. And with the electro dragons, you could use the super archer clone blimp because they haven't really nerfed it yet <laughs> I hope I did not hurt myself by saying that. Anyways, moving on. Yeah, so that's what we would focus on. But here's the perk. When we go out and farm, there are a lot of other players that have rushed, and you're gonna discover that the amount of resources you can get by being rushed is going to be much higher than what you're gonna find at lower town hall levels, like this one right here. This is a dead base, although it's not necessarily a lot of resources. Uh, let me see if I can find one, hold on. <laughs> okay, never mind. I didn't have to wait very long. There it is right there. 800,000 gold, 690,000 elixir. This stuff adds up, and that was two bases back to back that were dead. So this is one of the major perks of being rushed is that farming is like super easy. So I'm gonna grab these resources real quick. So the fact of the matter, in order to fix a rush base, the goal here is a lot of farming, like a metric ton of farming. We need resources and a lot of resources, even though we have magic items. So we're gonna be focusing in on those heroes with the dark elixir, of course, and then we're gonna be dumping the gold into walls, and then we're gonna be finishing up our offensive buildings before we start going into defenses now when we get to defenses we're going to start activating potions to see how fast we can do it until they get so high in level that we're waiting a while and then we're going to start needing hammers to do it okay now i want to point out a couple of changes real fast with uh the raid metals remember a couple months ago they changed it to where we can no longer buy large amounts of resources which just kind of sucks because you only get one offering of gold elixir dark elixir so i really can't do that anymore so now i really have to farm but we will still buy buy those because I'm lazy. And then also when it comes to magic items, the best options here for a rush based player would be like wall rings <laughs> when they get super expensive and research potions. And then also the power potion. If you're trying to use an army that you don't have the levels for. Also, we don't have the six builder on this account. So this is also our new Builder Base 2.0, and it's a Builder Hall Level 5. We're going to go ahead and start the upgrade to Builder Hall Level 6 because we're going to start this process as well to unlock the 6th Builder again. 